Well, good morning and welcome to Royal Birmingham Conservatoire. I'm Shirley Thompson, I'm Interim Principal of RBC and I'm delighted that we're hosting this event here in our Bradshaw Hall. Uh, RBC is part of Birmingham City University. It's proud to be a world-class conservatoire of music and acting with a national and international reputation, as well as one which seeks to serve its local community and audiences. At our heart is a delivery of undergraduate and postgraduate provision in music and acting. We also have a junior department, an enviable reputation for research, a flourishing programme of outreach activity, a lively schedule of events, and these wonderful facilities, which I hope you get a chance to explore today between or after the sessions. Central to our mission and strategy at RBC is to produce musicians, actors, and theatre professionals who are ready for careers in the 21st century profession, whatever branches of it they pursue. We aim to produce graduates who are well-informed about their career options and ready to embrace portfolio careers. Graduates who are self-reflective, proactive, and creative in making and developing their own work opportunities and aware of the broad spectrum of activities that these might embrace. Indeed, our music programmes at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels are characterised by the amount of choice and flexibility students have to mould the course content to suit their own needs so that what they study is highly relevant to them and to the world in which they will be working. Now, as part of that strategy to ensure that our students truly are prepared for careers which are sustainable, we've paid increasing attention over recent years to matters of health and well-being. For musicians, there's not only the very real and obvious risk of developing physical injury, but also the need to grapple with the mental challenges of delivering a perfect performance to an audience. Now, it was when we were re-examining our provision in this respect in 2019 that my RBC colleague, Catherine Lamb, who you'll meet a little later, introduced me to Professor Adam Krizzel. And it was from that point that we determined to run a pilot programme based on the existing Intelligent Behaviour Analytics, or IBA, framework as part of our health and wellbeing provision. Professional performers need to be resilient, and to learn strategies for coping with the nerves that many experience while in front of an audience, which can obviously be completely debilitating. Certainly, performance anxiety is a fact of life for many student performers, and learning how to deal with it is an important part of their training. The IBA programme fits the bill perfectly, and since we've been running it, it has gone from strength to strength, and several of cohorts of students have now testified to its profound impact on them and their practice. Suffice to say, I'm extremely proud that this work has unfolded here at RBC. Now, during the day, you're going to be hearing three performances involving students who've participated in that programme. And we've included these performances, not only so you can enjoy them for their own sake, as we consider the role that arts play in everyone's lives, but also to give our students the opportunity to share their performances and to show the crucial impact that increased confidence gained through the programme brings to their performance skills. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce, with no further ado, our first performers, Zach and Charlie both just about to embark upon their final undergraduate year next week. Um, I'm going to leave them to introduce what they're going to play, but meantime, wish you a really interesting, informative, stimulating and enjoyable day here at Royal Birmingham Conservatoire. So let's welcome Zach and Charlie. Charlie. 